On the first day of the seventh month, Yahweh commanded us to keep the Feast of Trumpets. Um, the Feast of Trumpets is mentioned in the following verse, Leviticus 23, verses 23 and 24. Leviticus 23, verses 23 and 24. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you have a rest, a remembrance of blowing of trumpets, a uh, set apart gathering. Hallelujah. Indeed. So, again, <laughs> text says Yahweh, not Abba Yahweh. Uh, in reality, this is Son Yahweh speaking here, the one who became Messiah. Um, so, in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you have a rest. A remembrance of blowing of trumpets. Blowing of trumpets is translated from teruah, the Hebrew word teruah. That's strong number, if you are interested in it, 8643. Strong's number 8643, 8643, Teruah, meaning alarm, signal, sound of tempest, shout, shout or blast of war, or alarm or joy. So, shout or blast of war, or alarm or joy, signal, sound. And Leviticus 23, 25. <laughs> you do not know by work and you shall bring an offering in by fire to Yahweh. Thank you. Mm. So, no servile work. As I explained in a sermon a couple of weeks ago, Yahweh himself makes the distinction between no work and no servile work. The only difference being that the only work you can do on this day, on the Feast of Trumpets and also other high days, except the Day of Atonement, is that you can cook. You can cook the food for the day itself. So the, not the cook for the, not the food for the next week or so, no, just for the day itself and for the people observing the feast. Otherwise, no work, no buying, no selling. And we will do our best to see to it that this is also how the next feast of Tabernacles will be kept. We are responsible of our own acts and we cannot uh, force anyone else to observe the Sabbath exactly the same way we do it. We try to teach the truth about it, what Yahweh says about it, and then we hope people of their own accord will, will just obey Yahweh. Huh? That's, that's what it comes down to. As you can see, this day is to be observed as a Sabbath day. A day of rest. It is a time of shouting, blowing trumpets and rejoicing. I say rejoicing. Did you hear me say rejoicing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we will come back to that later on, I hope. Uh, if I don't, otherwise you remind me uh, that it's indeed not as, uh, about alarm or war or something, but a day of rejoicing. The Hebrew name for this day is, of course, Yom Teruah. Yom means day. Hmm? Yom Teruah. The day of uh, joyous shouting, joyous noise. The Feast of Trumpets is a memorial of blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. It is a gathering of Yahweh's people. So that's why we are here for, as Yahweh's people. Because Yahweh, Yahweh tells us so. 
The word memorial is um, from the Hebrew zichron teruah. Here it is rendered a remembrance of blowing of uh, rather a remembrance of blowing the trumpets, and it probably signifies a remembrance or memorial of the triumph or shouting for joy. Nothing in the context of Leviticus 23-24, which we just read, refers to an alarm. No, it refers to a memorial accompanied with a holy convocation. An alarm is not a reason for rejoicing. So the Feast of Trumpets is not about blowing the trumpets as an alarm, but as a memorial and an expression of joy. Now let's examine Numbers 10, which gives us some details on the trumpets used. Numbers 10, verses 1, 2, to 7, or no, to 5. First we begin with the first five verses. Numbers 10, 1, 1 to 5. Can you follow me on verses? And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Make two silver trumpets for yourself. Make them beaten work. And you shall use them for calling the congregation and for breaking camp. And when they blow both of the, them, all the congregation shall meet before you at the door of the tent of meeting. And if they blow one, then the leaders, the, the heads of thousands of Israel, shall gather to you. And when you blow a shout at the camp that lie in the east, uh, East side shall depart. The word, the words taka terua, are used in the above verse five. Um, 